What happens when people want to visit an ancient site, but the archaeological layers and artifacts have been buried deeply beneath the ground, where nobody can see them? How can someone visualize or access something that has become hidden from view and disconnected from the modern world? Here I will share some of my experience with revealing ancient landscapes beneath the ground. People often visit and walk through surface visible sites where the ruins, rock art, and artifacts remain accessible and can create an immersive experience. Throughout the world people engage with ancient sites that continue to be visible on the surface. This direct personal interaction is not possible with ancient site layers that are buried beneath the ground. Typically at the end of an excavation, the area is refilled and returned to its prior condition for the safety of people today and for the protection of the site. In this case, the only surviving documentation is in the technical reporting of the archaeological investigation. In principle, people could access the technical reporting, but the original documentation alone does not necessarily convey a sense of what an ancient landscape looked like and how people lived within an ancient environment. Potentially, people can visit the place of an ancient buried landscape and try to imagine what the place looked like in the distant past. Toward this goal, an essential first step is to illustrate the ancient environment accurately. The core information can be conveyed through site maps and section view drawings based on real measurements of locations and depths of the ancient layers. This information can be coordinated with the dates of the layers, with the artifacts and findings within each layer, and with other data sets about changing sea level and aspects about how the environment has changed through time. These illustrations may be accurate, but most people would like to see more context or frame of reference. Artistic interpretations can add to the information content. Caution always is advised in clarifying the relationship between the known objective facts and the interpretive artistic representations. Three-dimensional computer renderings can be helpful for conveying the larger setting of a holistic environment. Depending on the technology involved, the rendering could include variable degrees of detail and realism. Inserting a simple you are here reference can go a long way in situating a viewer accurately and allowing the viewer to experience the sense of place. Ideally, an illustration of an ancient landscape can show the point of view or perspective from a specific spot where people can stand today. People can appreciate the present day view matched with the ancient view at the same scale and perspective. Often, multiple time periods are represented in a landscape chronology. A series of snapshots in time can create the effect of a time lapse. The finer details and distinctions of multiple time periods are not always necessary. Instead, a few key time periods can be sufficient to illustrate how a landscape has changed through time. In many cases, one particular ancient time period can be of special interest for the public. For example, People may want to learn about the specific time when people first lived in a region, such as represented in the deeply buried layers at the Retidian site of Guam National Wildlife Refuge. Visitors can access the refuge today and appreciate seeing where people first lived here around 1500 BC. Visitors can visualize the ancient landscape and consider how this place changed through time, eventually supporting the setting with the surface visible sites and the holistic ecosystem of the refuge today. What are your thoughts about representing and visualizing ancient landscapes that have been buried beneath the modern day ground? Please share your ideas and experiences in the comment section. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.